to it. So getting in the shop late. Had a lot going on today. I know I told you I'd be back in here early, but it didn't happen that way. So um wanna show y'all a couple things just in case y'all decide on going this route, one of these 177 uh superchargers. So I went on ahead and I took the um the crank pulley for the supercharger case, you can see, um, I removed the bolts, the three bolts and the center bolt that holds the pulley on. And I just installed the three outer bolts. I haven't installed the center bolt yet. But as you can see, we done already ran into the first problem. So with this engine having a flex fan set up on it, you can see right now that my fan blades are touching up against the pulley. So when I get ready to spin this thing over, you can see we're going to have a little problem with the pulley hitting up against the fan blade. So no real worries there. That's not even an eighth of an inch. We're just going to trim the blade up to clear that uh, pulley right there. Also, another thing I want to note is when you're installing one of these kits, the harmonic balancer bolt that it comes with uh it does screw into the pulley to hold the boat on but it's not long enough for my likings you can only get about maybe four to five threads screwed in there and we're gonna be really trying to spend some rpms so that right there i don't like the way that just make my stomach feel so i would suggest everyone goes to go to crane um well to your local hardware store just in case you're not here where i am and get you a grade eight boat. Make sure it's a grade eight boat. Just try to see if I have one to show you, which is a boat like this, grade eight. And make sure that it's about maybe, I'm gonna wanna say about six, six inches long. That way you've got more than enough thread screwed up into the, uh, into the crankshaft. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna trim I'm gonna go ahead and trim these fan blades and see can I get it to clearance that pulley. And then we'll go ahead uh, and start unhooking stuff, get ready to remove this intake so we can get the blower intake installed. So, see the rotor button, it's pointing. Almost right at the coupler for the nitro solenoid. So what I normally do is just take a sharpie and I, well, I take a, a flathead screwdriver and I lay it like this, just to get about an eyeball exactly where it's laying. And then I come here and like I said, right at that coupler, I take a sharpie and I put a mark right here. And then when I move around the distributor, I know where to drop it back down. Intake is off. So far the intake off, everything still look good. I guess before we get back going, might as well go ahead and check the valves, make sure they still in adjustment. And I'm gonna go ahead and sit the blower intake up here and I guess we might as well go ahead and bolt it down and get it ready to go on. All right, so before I put the glue down and start toping this uh, intake down in the blower. I always pre-fit any application that I'm putting together just to make sure before I tighten, torque, and button everything up, just in case something don't line up or don't fit right, I can go ahead and make adjustments. A lot of times when you're doing stuff like this, you have to grind on certain parts and stuff like that. So I try to go ahead and do all my pre-fitting first. I'm gonna screw these studs in and I'm gonna sit the blower on top of the intake. And probably put two bolts in it just to hold it down. Put the blower belt on and 
make sure I got the proper clearances from my fan. Because I don't have an electric fan. I got a flex fan. So I want to make sure the blades are out of the way. And we got a good clearance in there. Once all that checks out okay, then I'll go ahead and take this back apart. Go ahead and lock everything down. So far, everything looking good. Fitting like it's supposed to. Probably going to change uh, the gaskets, though. I think that's a 1206. Probably need a 1205. I don't like that. You can see that little piece of blue sticking out right there. Um, of course, y'all know we had a tall thermostat on the billet swivel necks. Definitely had to change that, so we're going to need a no mount for this blower. And I'm hoping that I can put the temp sensor right here. It's kind of tall, so we're gonna have to go here or here. Figure that out in just a second. But uh, the belts and everything up right there, they're not lining up correctly. So we're probably gonna have to change the pulleys that's on here as well. I know in just a second when I get this belt on, but other than that, everything else is so far looking pretty good.